Hi there! Thank you for checking my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. This video is part of the series of videos I post to try to help people out when it comes to attitude tests like the civil service exam of Katla e Filoset and all of those things. This is part of our Word Wednesdays series and kahit hindi Wednesday ngayon kasi I'm actually releasing this early for those na mag-exam na on Sunday. Uh, this is still part of that series. Uh, may early access lang kayo na mga subscribe sa YouTube channel. So if you're not yet subscribed, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the bell icon para ma-notify kayo pag mayroong mga bagong videos. Kasi pag ready na silang mapanood, nila release ko sila sa YouTube kahit na hindi ko pa siya pinaplog sa ating Facebook page. And if you haven't liked the Facebook page yet, dun ko ina-announce yung mga upcoming live review events. Dun ko rin uh, sinishare yung mga information at saka updates at saka iba pang mga free resources. You can go to www.facebook.com slash team like. Alright, so today we're going to talk about well, a concept na marami pa rin na naguguluhan. Part din siya ng homonym horror series natin na nag-turn na into homograph and homophone uh, horrors. Pero importante, these are words na laging nagkakamali yung mga tao. So, I really want you to understand this para hindi kayo mabiktima nito pag kayo yung mag -e exam na. Now, we're going to talk about yung differences between the words lose, lose, loss, and lost. So, lose, lose, loss, and Lost. Now, again, uh, when I teach this, kasi pag lalo na sa mga uh, iba-ibang mga lugar, some people, they get a little bit insecure about how, how they pronounce it. Pero don't worry about the pronunciation first. What we're going to focus on here is the meaning. Kasi pagdating naman sa exams, hindi naman oral, ang importante, alam niyo yung tamang spelling. And the reason why people get really confused is kasi interchangeable siya pag pinapakinggan mo lang. So, you really have to know yung difference ng bawat isa. So, I'm going to discuss that sa inyo. And at the end of the video, don't forget to stay until the end because so there's going to be a quick quiz for you guys then to practice yung concept na ito. Alright, so thanks guys and I'll see you later. I'll switch over to my PC so I can show you how to do it. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, let's talk about the differences between these words. So, lose, lose, loss, and lost. Now, it's very important to kind of enunciate dito sa video na ito, just so I can differentiate between those four. Uh, pero again, what we're focus focusing on is the spelling more than yung pronunciation. Okay, so first thing, we're going to talk about each of them, what they mean, and discuss them actually primarily in Filipino para lang mas madali for you guys to understand. Okay? Now, let's talk about lose first. Kapag dalawa ang O, ang ibig sabihin niya maluwang or nakawala. Now, I want you to visualize this para mas madali ninyong matandaan. Now, if you see right here, yung lose, may dalawang O siya na parang naghiwalay or parang uh, magkahiwalay or nakasplit sila. So, when you think about something na nakawala, diba, nakatakas, you can think of it that way. Kasi parang yung lose, lose na isang, na isang O lang, magkasama pa sila. Ibig sabihin, yung loose, nakalabas na siya, nakatakas na siya, so ganyan na yung itsura niya. And maluwang kasi magkahiwalay na yung dalawang O. So again, kapag loose dalawang O, it means maluwang or nakawala. So we talk about loose pants, maluwang, that is two O's. Uh, we talk about uh, setting someone loose or setting a uh, dog loose, ibig sabihin nun, dalawa rin ang O. Okay? Now, yung loose naman, which is isang O lang, again, when you or not, you can say it with a parang, parang mas mas matinding emphasis on the S. So, lose. Para lang iba siya sa lose. So, lose and lose. And then, this here, right here, with, a, with just one O, ang ibig sabihin niya mawala or matalo. Okay? So, when you lose a game or when you lose something, yun ang ibig sabihin niya. Mawala o matalo. Again, you have to understand kung ano difference ng dalawa ang O at saka isa lang ang O. Okay? Now, uh, yung loss naman, so dalawang S, L-O-S-S, -S, ang ibig sabihin niya ay kawalan. Okay? Yung kawalan ng kanya, or pagkawala. Yun ang ibig sabihin niya, kawalan or pagkawala. So, the loss of a, love wo a loved one, ang ibig sabihin nun, yung pagkawala ng isang mahal sa buhay, or kawalan, um, parang it's uh, it's your loss, not mine, that also means loss na with the, with the two S's. Yan. Okay? Now, yung lost with a T, what that means is something na nawawala, nawala, o natalo. Okay? Again, past tense siya. Iba siya dun sa lose, you can think of it this way. Ang lose, okay, yan yung, um, sabihin natin na um, future na form nung lost. Kasi yung lost, tapos na. Nawala na siya. Okay? Nawa either nawawala siya ngayon, present tense, uh, it's lost, ibig sabihin right now, nawawala siya. Nawala, so uh, he lost something, 
So that is tapos na. At saka yung natalo. They lost the game. Okay? Uh, you lost the election. That means tapos na kaya lost na siya. Now, understand that the more na na-expose kayo sa words na ito, the better it is for you and the easier it will be for you the next time. So talaga, ang susi dito is practice. Now, uh, if you have the workbook, this is also on yung section ng homonym horrors natin sa dulo, sa common pitfalls. You can turn to that page for the exercise. Now, I put the phrase, uh, the sentences na ito doon as an example. Kasi uh, to better remember these words, you can remember this a uh, pair of sentences. Sabi, I told him, keep your grip blank and you won't blank me. It was his blank when he blanked me. So if you fill it in, it, uh, ang sabi, I told him, keep your grip loose or maluwang, okay? So huwag ka masyadong mahigpit and you won't lose me. At hindi ako mawawala sa iyo, okay? And then, it was his loss, kawalan niya, when he lost me, nang nawala ako sa kanya. So again, uh, yung mga humuhugot dyan, quote me on that. Pero ang uh, pinaka-basis lang nito talaga, again, is the differences in each of these words. Huwag niyong ipagpapalit yung mga yan. Kasi pag pinagpalit niyo sila, there will be consequences. So again, when you tell your co-workers to wear loose jeans, that has to have two O's. Kapag sinabi niyo kasi na wear loose jeans, na isa lang ang O, ang ibig sabihin magsusuot sila ng nawawalang Pantalon. So, pag pumasok sila sa opisina na walang pantalon, kasalala ninyo. Kaya again, loose jeans or loose clothes, that would have two O's. Okay? At kung nawawala, naman, nawawala pa lang ang something, you use lost, hindi lost. Kasi um, in my life, <laughs> I've seen so many signs put up. Alam niyo yung lost and found, right? Yung iba, ang spelling nila lost and found, yung iba lose and found. Ang tamang spelling is lost kasi yung ibig sabihin, currently nawawala. Okay? Or nawala and now found or nakita siya. So, nawala at ngayon ay nakita. Hindi pwedeng kawalan kasi kung kawalan, wala ka makikita doon. Okay? So, again, these are little na differences and it's really important for you to know kung ano yung gagamitin nyo sa isa sa kanila. So, now that you know that, I'm going to give, give you um, a quick two minutes for this uh, exercise that I prepared for you. This is just one question. Parang teaser lang for your quick quiz. The quick quiz will be linked at the end of this video, dun sa thumbnail na yun, dun sa dulo. You can uh, watch that for your easy access then. Okay? So again, this next slide will be just one question. Yung quick quiz nyo, ibang questions yung inalagay ko dun. Okay? So if you're ready, your timer starts now.
All right. So uh, in this question right here, meron tayong tatlong words na nawawala. So you have to know kung alin ang gagamitin natin. So make sure the leash isn't blank if you don't want to blank your puppy. Not all blank dogs are found. Now, some people don't like it kapag maraming options or maraming hinahanap sa isang sentence but or sa isang tanong. But honestly, ako mas gusto ko kapag marami siya kasi kung hindi ka man sure sa isa sa kanila, if you can figure out two out of three or kahit one out of three, you can start eliminating yung mga ibang options. So for example, make sure the leash or yung tali ng aso isn't blank if you don't want to blank your puppy. So when talking about the tali, ibig sabihin yung tali, ang options mo either nawala yung tali okay, or maluwang. Now, it makes more sense kung maluwang yung tali. So, the first word, should, kasi ang pinag-uusapan lang sa first word ay lose or maluwang, or lose, okay? Ay, ibig sabihin, mawawala pa lang. Eh, when we talk about making sure, ibig sabihin, current state yun nung, uh, nung bagay na yun. So, the, again, sa versus lose na maluwang, tsaka lose na natalo, I, I prefer yung lose na maluwang. So, make sure na hindi maluwang yung tali ng aso if you don't want to blank your puppy. So, again, sa pangalamang part, you have options either lose or lose. And um, in our options, isa lang naman natitira, lose lang siya. And tama naman yun kasi kung ayaw mong mawala yung iyong puppy. Now, dito sa pangatlong option, dalawa na lang pinagpipili natin, either loss or lost. So, ang tanong, not all lost dogs ba or not all lost dogs? Again, pag nilagay mo dyan, hindi lahat ng kawalang aso, so medyo walang sense yun. Pero pag sinabi mo na hindi lahat ng nawawalang aso or nawalang aso are found. So, what that means is that the last sentence should have lost and our answer is letter B. Okay? So, again, if you want to get to know yung concept nito more, practice the quick quiz will be at the end of the video. Alright! I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure to share this video with your friends. Lalo kung mag-exam din sila para mas marami tayong matulungan. And if you're not yet subscribed, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the bell icon para malaman ninyo as soon as a new video posts. Para manong kayo mga early access dun sa mga content that I put out there. Thanks guys, and if you want to reach out to me directly, you can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlaika for the schedule ng mga live review events on your review program, and if you want to get the reviewers that I made. I'd love to hear back from you. So thank you guys for watching, never stop learning, adja adja, kaya niyan, I'll see you in my next video, and bye for now.